my friends. So I have my Spike Prime kit, and I went to plug it in my computer, and I see that I need an update. There's been an update to the hub. We've all seen this. You're going to continue to see this. And I want to walk through some of the logistics of what happens when we click to begin, and this is what we see. I continue to get an error occurred while updating the hub operating system. Now I'm working on a Mac, just to set the stage there. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but letting you know. And I continue to get this error over and over and over again. So this video is going to attempt to look through some solutions to help you if you get this error, starting with the most simple and easy, working our way through some other ways with resetting the brick and so forth. And in the end, our goal is to be able to see this notification. We want to know that our hub operating system has been updated so that we can go and get into the coding, into the building, and actually be able to use our kit. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first solution, which is simply just charging the battery. All right, so my first test that I'm going to be doing here is just making sure the battery of the Spike Prime is fully charged. So I've got it plugged into a wall outlet here. Um, and when I first plugged it in, I didn't get video of it. This was red, and it looks like in the recording this is blinking, but it's actually not. It's a solid state of green. So this is charged overnight, so it's fully charged. So my first thing I'm going to be troubleshooting is, is the update not able to update because of a low battery? So now that I have this fully charged, let's go ahead and plug it into the computer, into the software, and uh, see if that will resolve the issue of the update error that's preventing me from coding and using my Spike Prime kit. Okay, so now that my Spike Prime battery is fully charged, we're going to go ahead and plug the USB into the computer, and we're going to see if that will resolve the issue of the hub update um, that we've been facing. So go ahead and plug this in here and we should see the update hopefully show up on the on the screen here and let's go ahead and see if this will resolve the issue if that's all it takes that would be wonderful just a simple battery charge and so while this updates you can kind of see here on the on the screen these the hub, the, the little ring light here, is kind of a white look. And when you see that, that's your hub letting you know that an update is required. And it'll automatically post the update in the software. The software automatically checks for it. So it's not something that you have to manually do like in years past and kind of be up to speed with that now. Automatically does it. The downside is, can't do much with your brick until you have it updated. In our case, we had a we had an error. I wasn't able to get mine to work. So this appears to be working with the battery before. Wasn't able to get past two percent. And once I don't jinx it here, it looks like we're we're making good progress. Oh, I jinxed it. That did not work. All right. Let's move on to option number two. All right, so just a quick little update. I went through after that frustration moment of it being an error, and I plugged it in again while I was doing some work, and roughly about 30 minutes later, it took about 30 minutes, the hub did update. So having a full battery charge um, may be a, a simple fix, especially if you're working with students and they forget to charge and all those good things. So definitely something to look into and just be patient. It, it, it's taken me roughly about 10 tries, but on uh, one of the tries here, after about 30 minutes of updating, it did work. So I want to make sure that uh, I, I just put that plug in there, that charging the battery. I had a low battery in my initial tries because the light was red on the hub, and I think that was a huge indicator. But it did work. It just took multiple tries. But let's go ahead and take a look at some other options in case that does not work for you. All right, so let's take a look at a second option. This is going to be a factory reset where we're going to reset the hub back to the factory settings. This might be if there's a glitch. Um, you hate to do this. Keep in mind, this option here will get rid of everything that is on the brick 
all your programs. So if you haven't backed any of those up, it'd be important to do so. Make sure you have it um, because you're not going to be able to get them back. So just keep that in mind. Um, this is important if you've got lots of programs or your kids have been working on stuff and uh, then maybe they haven't put um, their program where they need to be. So just something to double check before you do this setting. So um, in this case, we're going to be using the software itself. So the way we do this, and I don't really like the way this navigates, we have to be within a program. So it could be a blank program or one you already have. It doesn't really matter. Either way, in the programming canvas here, we're going to click the hub icon that's right up here. Um, you can see that it's connected with the green. Here is all my information on my current brick that I have plugged into the software. And what we're going to do is we're going to head over. You can see here, actually, a little side note right here. I can see my battery is fully charged. And that's what I was using as an indicator earlier for the first solution. But we can go here to these three dots right underneath where it says disconnect. I'm going to click those. And you're going to see that I have an option for reset settings. Now, when I do this, it's going to reset it back to the factory settings. So again, I click those dots. I'm going to hit these reset settings and it's going to go ahead and do that. It's going to confirm the reset and it's going to go ahead and then do the update. So if the first way didn't work, this could be your second option. And we will see how this plays out uh, for a brick. And you can see here now that um, the hub has been updated. So that was way faster than the previous one where I got the update option on the screen and it took about 30 minutes and 10 tries. Boom, there it is, done. So um, another nice little tip there for you if you um, need to go that route, just know that you're gonna lose your programs and anything um, that's gonna be on there. So, uh, and actually you can see here that my Spike Sumo program is still there. So uh, let's try this one more time. Three dots, reset settings, and away we go. It's going to update that. I'm going to hit done, dismiss. And surprisingly, my program's still on there. So I can't guarantee that. I thought for sure it would reset it all, but it, it didn't do that. So um, that's good news. All right. Let's see if there's any other options here for us. Otherwise, hopefully those two will work for you. All right, so I'm going to pause at those two options. If you have other solutions or you've found other glitches, feel free to reach out, leave a comment, let me know, and we'll definitely get that going. I know there's lots of resources online and building out, but those tend to be, for me, the two things that work the best, and it didn't take a whole lot of effort, and they'd be easily teachable to students if they're running into it, so you can start to teach them to be proactive in their troubleshooting. So my my robot's ready i've got some build i need to get the code now up and running see if i can get my sumo bot uh, functional which i'll be showing in a upcoming video but until then i hope those two solutions check the battery do the reset see if that works make sure your hub's updated and then more importantly with all things with lego education products have a lot of fun troubleshoot be creative be imaginative and uh, bring your ideas from your brain to the world and uh, let the world know all right my friends as always i hope you found this helpful and remember to stay awesome Peace.